I am attorney Mary Chris Batan Lasco. This is my virtual classroom. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this channel, I shall aim to simplify the law. I will discuss concepts and principles of law in under 10 minutes. Hello everyone, welcome to another video lecture. So we already talked about the remedies of your obligee or of your creditor. If the obliger or the debtor fails to comply with this obligation in specific real obligations and generic real obligations. Now, how about for personal obligations? There are two types of personal obligations. Your positive personal obligation or your obligations to do and your negative personal obligations or your obligations um, not to do. What are the remedies then of your obligee if your obliger will not comply with uh, what they have agreed on? Supposing um, A and B agreed that A will uh, pay B to sing at his party and they already agreed to that. But B does not show up. What are the remedies of A against B? That is a positive personal obligation, an obligation on the part of B to sing at a party, an obligation to do. Where do we see the remedies in your civil code? That's Article 1167. 1167 says, If a person obliged to do something fails to do it, the same shall be ex executed at his cost. This same rule shall be observed if he does it in contravention of the tenor of the obligation. Furthermore, it may be decreed that what has been poorly done be undone. When you read Article 1167, it does not give you a remedy by the oblige, obligee rather, to, to compel the obliger to do what he promised to do. There is no remedy on specific performance, unlike your specific real obligations. And even in specific, I'm sorry, even in, in um, generic real obligations, you can even compel performance, not specific performance. But how come in positive personal obligations, how come there is no remedy on the part of the obligee to compel the obliger to perform or to do what he promised to do. The reason for that is because there's a constitutional prohibition on involuntary servitude. You must not be forced to do something or to, to render service if you do not want to render the service. Now, you might say, but you agreed to it. Yes, you agreed to it. You agreed to do something, but you did not do it. But then again, there are other remedies. Those remedies which will, which uh, those remedies which will not violate your constitution. And what are the remedies in 1167? It says, since you cannot compel him anyway, you cannot force him to to do what he promised to do because it entails doing something personally. Then you may ask somebody else, but it will be paid by the obligor. So like in our example, B does not wish to, to, to abide by his contract. He, he did not show up. You can actually hire somebody else to sing at your party and it will be executed at the cost of B. So B will be the one to pay. But you cannot force him to be the one singing at the party. Again, because of the constitutional prohibition against involuntary servitude. Another uh, another remedy under 1167 is that even if he does it but not in the not in the the terms that you have agreed upon. For example, you hired someone to paint your house and you you agreed to paint the house red. But instead of painting your house red, he painted it pink. What is your remedy? The remedy is that you can ask somebody else to do, to do the painting of your house red, but at the expense of 
the original obligor. Because again, you cannot compel him to do it. But of course, if he will agree to do it, then that's not a problem. This remedy will come in, of course, if the obligor refuses to do it because you cannot compel him. But you can have someone do it at his expense. If it is poorly done, it can also be undone. But can you compel him? Can you legally compel or force him to undo what he has uh what he has poorly done again there's no legal compulsion there but then again you can hire somebody else to to undo what was poorly done that is article 1167 now how about in obligations not to do or in negative personal obligations what is your remedy your agreement was for him or for the obliger not to do something, but then he does it anyway. The remedy is 1168. When the obligation consists in not doing and the obliger does what has been forbidden him, it shall also be undone at his expense. Again, there's no remedy for you to be able to compel him to undo it. Again, because of the constitutional prohibition, prohibition rather, of involuntary servitude, but you can hire someone else to undo it, but he will be the one to pay it. The, the obliger will be the one to pay it because the law says it will be undone at his expense. That is all for your remedies in personal obligations. That is your articles 1167 and 1168. I will see you in the next. So, if you find this video helpful, please click like, subscribe, and that notification bell so that you will be notified of new video uploads. Thank you for watching. See you next time in MBL Classroom.